Okay. So, because I'll forget. Um, so I ended up picking up just, I was just crying and I was picking up all the pieces, the yellow plastic pieces of his motorcycle. And I don't know what I was going to do with them. What are you going to do with these things? But I just, I didn't want them in the road. I didn't want them in the road. I wanted, I didn't want, I didn't want the blood staining the, the road where he had been laying. So he was alive. I just started the video. So, and this lady pulls up. She flies into the parking lot. I think she passed me, said in her mind, like, what is that person doing? <laughs> because it was quite a spectacle. And she, and then as she passed, her guidance probably told her she's crying and she's picking up pieces. And she, so intuitively, I think she understood she got what was happening. So she turned around because she flew into the parking lot in this massive station wagon. And, uh, and she goes, she jumps out and she comes over to me and she says, listen, listen, I don't know what you're going through, but she's like, I thought my life was over. I really thought my life was over. My husband of this many years said, I don't love you anymore. And I, and I want you out and all this stuff. And she said, I just, and she had kids and she said, I just laid in bed and I just cried and cried. She's like, I thought about killing myself, all this stuff. You can imagine. She shared her story with me so quickly while I'm bawling. And she said, but I, it just, a light went off and she said, I just decided I've always wanted to move to, I don't remember now because I was obviously a mess, but she said, I always wanted to move to whatever. And she goes, I packed, I, I packed everything in my station wagon and I'm going now, I'm going now. And, and I looked at her station, she goes, look, look. And I looked at her station wagon and it was packed to the rafters. There was only room for her, the, the driver's seat. Everything else was full. And she goes, I'm just gonna tap. She goes, I don't know what you went through, but she goes, I promise it's gonna get better. I promise it's going to get better. She goes like, yours is different than mine, but I thought my life was over. And she goes, and now I'm so excited for my new life. And she says, someday you'll be excited too. Anyway, so crying is so inconvenient. We don't want to. I don't feel like it. It's so inconvenient when it happens, you know? <laughs> ah, feeling is healing and feel your healing feelings. It sounds so nice, you know, when you're not crying. And then when you're crying, you're like, oh, I just don't feel like it. I don't want this. I don't want this. I want everything to go good. And really, when you're fighting to hold on to, the pain instead of crying it's just your ego trying to keep the world that it created normal keeping it intact it's just your ego when you're crying you're just and when you're when you're you know in pain and you don't want to cry and you don't want to it's not convenient to cry right now it's not convenient to cry at Adam's concert you know it's just so inconvenient you know but but the only thing that's fighting my crying right now is my ego. It's the egoic resistance. It's like, no, just stop. Stop. Stop crying. Just stop. You know? But you guys don't care. You know? You guys don't care at all. And if I don't show you that I can, you know, I'm not a very good teacher. <laughs> Anyway, I shared this post on Renegade Yogi and it's this guy made this video and it's, it's very scientific -y because he's got all these, you know, graphics and stuff. And, um, and I was so excited about this video that I shared it on all these groups that I somehow I'm part of all these groups. I don't know, like, I guess people invite me and then I go, sure. <laughs> So when I went to share it, I was like, oh, look at all these groups I'm in that I didn't know about. So 
I shared it on all these groups and I got a lot of hearts, people saying, yeah, you know, people giving hearts or whatever, or thumbs ups. But I got some crap from some people. And uh, it's still very scary for me to receive criticism. But, you know, so people are fighting for the old paradigm and you wonder why they're on a living Zen page if they're gonna just fight for, um, to complain. I don't know, but that's their free will choice. So anyway, we're here now, it's 2020. We've had a lot of planetary stuff. Oh, it's February, February 2020. So we're moving down, we're moving through. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm reading all your comments. Yeah. <clears throat> I used to, so when I flew airplanes, I flew people that had a lot of money or, and I flew famous people. And I know some of my relatives are like, they, they, they think of famous people in this way. That's, I never understood cause I never really cared. But, um, I'll tell you of all the people that I flew that had way more money than I'll ever have and a more power prestige, I never wanted their lives. It's such a weird thing. And so you have to, I really want you guys now, like not, not right now, but like sometime today, find some time to really think about what does success mean? What does success mean? You know? <laughs> oh God, you guys are like amazing. Unbelievable. Oh, Brad says two, two, 2020. Oh, so it's cool. Um, so it's 2 2 2020. He says palindromic day. All right, it's my grandma. This was my grandmother's birthday. Oh, let me tell you a fast story. So, so I was a pilot for United and I used to fly with these guys. And um, there was a guy who had a child older in life. And I was like, what is that like? You know, he's like, it's, it's interesting because I'm like really paying attention to my child. I'm not, I'm all set in my life. And so he says, I asked my son, who is uh, probably like maybe five, he says, because Easter was coming, he says, do you know, um, do you know what Easter's about? And the kid said, yeah. And then so the, the guy I worked with goes, tell me, tell me about Easter. And he says, he says, so Jesus died. Yeah. And they put him in a cave. Yeah. And then every year on Easter, Jesus comes out and the guy goes, yeah. And he goes, and if he sees his shadow, it's six more weeks of winter. <laughs> so I love that. That's, I love that story. All right. So anyway, we're going to, if you could take some time today to really think about what does success mean to you? Because I see people wrapped up in money and I understand it. But even like these wealthy people, these people like, uh, whatchamacallit, um, Jim Carrey is like, well, I got there and it wasn't all it was meant to be. Think about what success means. And, and I want to encourage you to think about success as how I feel in my own body. I feel, you know, like my body is the way I want. I feel like my house is organized the way I want. I, I feel like I love where I live. Um, I feel like I have great relationships with all my um everybody in my family, well, and that kind of stuff. All right, so think about success, and and if you can feed that feeling to, back to your body, um, that's how you use a law of attraction to bring you what you want. That's how you manifest. You don't think about how. You don't think about how to get the, you know, and then, you, then you, you focus on how you want to feel, and then you'll get guidance, and the guidance will bring that outcome to you and so that post I thought did such a great job uh, not that's cancel okay that post did such a great job I thought at showing you that your mind stays in the positive and then you then you draw solutions to yourself bring solutions to yourself I loved it all right 
So we're getting ready. So come into the space where you are. Good. Let your, your internal organs just fall. Stop holding your internal organs up. Just let the internal organs just fall down. Good. And now think about the space between your internal organs. Just focus on the space between your internal organs. And just send light energy washing through, washing through, washing through. Okay, it says it's... Okay. Hopefully you're set. I think I made somebody mad. <laughs> okay. All right, love you guys. All right, so come into the space where you are. Feel your contact points on your chair or wherever you're sitting. Good, and just allow your whole body to get heavy. Good, let your body, good. Let your whole body get heavy. Let your internal organs fall. Good. See yourself sitting in the center of the big white spotlight of the highest and holiest source creator, energy or God, whatever word you use. Good. Relax. Good. Now let your shoulders expand. Let your shoulders move up away from each other. And now gently go back like they're on rails. Go back and down. So shoulders back and down. And some of you want your third eye lifted to heaven. So some of you want your chin up slightly and that's gonna feel good. It's gonna feel like you're bathing in the light. Good. Good, just relax here for a second. Good. I am open to receiving love acceptance and support from the highest holiest source creator energy god prime creator i'm going to say prime creator but from here on out use your best word good relax your eyes john shoulders smiling face i'm open to receive healing in my highest best interest good with your shoulders back and down your heart chakra can open comfortably good and now feel the light all around you coming in through the top of your head and also down around the exterior of your physical body. Washing and clearing any um, any physical issues you would like to see resolved. Good. Just allow the light to wash over your physical body and inside, washing through your brain, through your eyes, good, through your pituitary gland, it's just a ball in your brain somewhere, you don't have to know where, through your third eye, your pineal gland, you don't have to know where that is, just allow the intention, good. And now washing down through the thyroid in your throat, your throat chakra. Communication, self-expression, allowing that white light energy to just wash through communication and self-expression. Good. And moving down into the shoulders, into the heart, the lungs, washing away all grief. Good. And also your back, washing down through your back, inside and outside. Good. The back is where our to-do lists manifest in stress. So all these things I have to do. Try and remember what I have to do. It's better to make lists, but right now, we're just gonna let go of all to do, all to do lists. Good, relax your shoulders, your arms, your heart now, your physical heart. 
Let this light energy wash through your physical heart, all four chambers, if you know what the heart looks like. Good, just see it getting a bath of white iridescent light. Good, good. And the light removes any and all squeezing. Good. And now allow that same energy to move down into your stomach, your intestines and your stomach, just releasing, washing through, letting go. Good, let go of your belly. We're not shooting this swimsuit edition of Sports Illustrated today. Just let your big belly go and let the light wash through. Good. And your intestines. Good. Send a flood of energy through your intestines, just washing through your intestines. Good. Good. And just notice, don't stress, but notice the tension in your belly. Just notice it for a second before getting rid of it. Just notice it. And just say, isn't that interesting? Isn't that interesting? Good, so we're not judging it as bad. Good, we just see it, we see the tension, we feel it. Good, we just say, isn't that interesting? Good, and now, breathing in, expand your big belly, note the pause at the top of the breath. Stretch your shoulders back if you want, and exhale slowly through your mouth, push your belly down, grounding, 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 good. Breathe in, big belly. Good, exhale slowly through your mouth, push your belly down, grounding, grounding, grounding. One more, all together, breathing in, big belly. Note the pause at the top of the breath and expand at the top of your head, a big white lotus blossom. Expand to catch more light. Good, and now exhale slowly through your mouth. Good. If you're new, I burp and yawn to clear. Good, push your belly down, grounding, grounding, grounding. And now with your hands in prayer or palms up on your knees, I open to receive healing in my highest best interest now. Good. I set the intention to live a spirit-directed life in alignment with my peaceful, powerful, true self or soul or spirit, whatever you wanna say true self is the guru. Your true self is the guru. Good. And that's who told that lady in the station wagon, it's time to move to that place you've always wanted to live. Good. Relax your eyes, jaw, and shoulders. Good. And now I feel a little bit of energy from some people's egos getting excited about changing their life now. And that's your ego trying to help you. But when you're listening to the true self, it's more of a deeper, powerful voice. It's more of a deeper, calmer, centered connection. Good. There's no trying at all. There's no trying. There just is. Good. So when I said, Deeper part, deeper part. Where do you feel that? Where do you feel a deeper, powerful part? Where do you feel it in your body? And bring your full awareness to that, that deeper part of myself. When I come to center and I calm down, when I calm down and come to center, where do you go? When I say, I calm down, I come to center, and I access the deeper part of myself. Go to that place now. Good, relax your eyes, jaw, and shoulders. Go to the deeper part of myself. Good, good. See your energy coming back to yourself. All the energy you've ever put out into the world, including all the thought energy towards the future, bring all of it back now. I am coming to center. Good, bring all of your energy back to yourself. Good. Good. 
as you bring your energy back to your center feel yourself calming down good and you actually get calm and you actually your awareness moves down go with that energy follow that energy I calm down and come to center where do you go good where do your hands want to be and where does your head want to be your head can be bowed like sacred space or straight or third eye to heaven what feels best where do my hands want to be palms up hands over my heart or prayer posture in front of my heart or prayer posture in front of my third eye good very good relax good and some of you are going in and out of this that's fine just keep going in and out of this don't judge when you're out good 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 keep going in in I calm down I come to center I calm down I come to center I don't have to know what it means I'm setting the intention then the energy follows my mind my mind directs my energy I calm down good I come to center good big belly breathing somebody's holding their belly good big belly breathe good and as you exhale push your belly down good good relax your eyes jaw and shoulders smiling face I calm down I come to center and now you just say I am calm I am centered good good find your own cadence I am calm good I am centered and when that feels too bulky you just change it to I am good good Allow your body to move, your head may need to move, your shoulders, your arms. Chris, shoulders back and down. Good. See yourself sitting in the big spotlight, the whitest, most iridescent. White spotlight of the highest, holiest source, creator, energy. I set the intention to live in this space always. Good. I accept the light and the protection offered by Prime Creator. I am deeply and completely loved, accepted, and supported by Prime Creator. As I deeply and completely love and accept myself. And then calm and center. Good, relax. Shoulders. Calm and center. Calm and center. Moving in and down. Good. Beautiful. As you move in now, move in and down. Connect a root down to the center of Mother Earth. Send a root down to the center of Mother Earth and wrapping around her core, the core of Mother Earth. Good, you're just using a root to connect with Mother Earth and to hug the core of Mother Earth good so much gratitude and humility just such deep love for mother earth so much love gratitude and humility and feel mother earth accept good she drinks in your gratitude and your humility good she takes it in with so much grace Good, relax your belly. No trying. This is your planet. You were born here. This meat suit was born here. It's made of the same chemical compounds that Mother Earth is made of. Good, relax your eyes, jaw, and shoulders. Connect with Mother Earth. I am grounded now. Good. And Mother Earth loves grounded humans. Mother Earth loves 
grounded, peaceful humans. She supports meditation practice. Good. Always has, always will. As you meditate and ground, you raise your vibration. Good. The thought of hurting yourself or hurting another or hurting Mother Earth just ceases when you ground and raise your vibration. There are no more thoughts of hurting. Good. Good. Let your big belly go. Somebody's really sucking in, holding in. You're beautiful like the Buddha with the big belly. That's why he's depicted with a big belly. He didn't really look that way. Good. Relax your eyes, drawn shoulders. Good. And now I want to bring you into a state of grace, but we can't say it in a way that's going to have your ego try to help you. So, calm, center, I am grace. Now, good, feel your energy, come in, center, down, Mother Earth, I am grace. Good, good, I am grace. Good. Nothing to do, there's nothing to do, only to be. That's what a state of grace is is complete allowing of the being. I am grace. Good. There's nothing for you to do. There's no trying. Grace is your natural state. Good. Relax your eyes, jaw, and shoulders. If you feel tears somewhere, just invite them. Allow them. I invite emotion to come up, clear out. Good. Relax your eyes, jaw, and shoulders. I allow emotion. Good. You don't want to resist anything now. You want to stay in a state of grace. I am grace. Good. There's nothing to do. Good. Breathe and be. Breathing and being. Good. Good. Through breathing and being, you access your soul power, your spiritual power or empowerment in the nothing. Just in being, I am grace. Good. You allow emotion to come and clear. You allow your power to come. Good. You allow your peaceful power Good, good, so good. Allow your power to come in, peaceful power. Calm and center, calm and center. No trying, there's no doing. There's just being and allowing. I am peace. I am power. Good. And now right in your heart. Go right to your heart now. You can put your hands over your heart if you want. It's time now to fall in love with yourself. Whatever that means. Whatever myself is don't need to know what it is because if you try to figure out who myself is it will just be your ego taking you on a wild goose chase good good go right to your heart good go right into your heart I love 
my self. Good, my self. Who am I? Good. Who am I? And I say, who am I? I'm not inviting my ego to tell me the image it's created. Good, good. Relax your eyes, jaw, and shoulders. If information comes, any information that comes in the form of words or pictures, it's most likely egoic. The self, the true self, the spirit, your powerful true self comes in emptiness, comes in feeling. Good. It's like a nothingness. So when you get pictures of who I think I am, that's probably egoic image. And when you see that, say, I am not this. I am not this. I am not this, I am not this. Good. Good. The true Tao cannot be spoken, cannot be written. Good, I am not this. Good, good. Stretch your body if you want. Good. Stretch. Good. I am. Good. There is no blank to fill in. I am is a complete sentence. Good. Relax your belly. Smiling face. And now at this point, open again to receive healing in your highest best because you've already expanded your consciousness from when we started. So now, I open now to receive even more healing in my highest best interest. Good. The higher your vibration, the more you serve all other humans and the planet. Good. The water in your body responds to your thinking. 70% of your body is water. Good. Relax your eyes, jaw, and shoulders. Good. Relax your legs. Good. And your hips. Good. Relax your hips and your legs. And now with this beautiful, strong, humble, grateful connection to Mother Earth, focusing on your heart now, send a beam of light from your heart up through the top of your head at your crown chakra up to heaven or God, prime creator, whatever heaven means to you. Send a beam of light from your heart. Good, good. Thank you for the love and support Good. Good. Feel your gratitude and love graciously accepted and absorbed by heaven, prime creator, whatever you call it. Good. Keep sending love in light. Good. And now, ask Prime Creator Heaven for perfect healing. I ask now and am open to perfect healing on the physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual planes of existence. Good. And any darkness that you see will be removed. I ask now and am open to I give myself permission to receive perfect healing physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. Good. Relax your shoulders, smiling face. Good. Let your body move, clearing out stagnant energy as it needs.
good. As you receive healing from Prime Creator, allow the energy to wash through your whole physical body. Give your cells permission to open, even the nucleus of every cell, give, it, give them all permission. Open, receive healing, clearing, good. Allow all your thoughts to be washed and elevated, removing self-doubt and any limitations. Good. Relax your eyes, jaw, and shoulders. Good. Relax your belly, big belly. I am centered. I am calm. Good. Bring all your energy back. Any and all soul fragments from all directions of time. Any worries about the future or energy. Bring all your energy back to the now. Good. Relax your shoulders. Allow your heart to expand. See all the white light energy washing through your physical body, through your mind, through all of your organs, especially your eyes. Good. Relax your eyes, jaw, and shoulders. Smiling face. And now see the white light energy washing through your life your whole life, see all the places that you know and the people, good. See the white light energy washing through your house, your car, your whole life, everywhere you go. And now expanding it, washing through your town, your state, your country, Good. Mm. 
Use your mind now to see the white light washing through the entire world, the whole planet. Relax your belly. It's not harder because it's bigger. It's no different. Good. One is as easy as the next. It's as easy to wash my body with white light as it is to wash the planet with white light. Just because it's bigger, just make the planet smaller in your, you could put it in your hand. Good. Allow your spirit to do the work. Show you how to do it. Just flood the whole world with light. Let it be easy. Everything, everyone, everything, every molecule of water, every being, every being flooded, flushed with pure white light. Good, good. Washing away all the emotions, so that they can all be present now. Washing away all the programming. Washing away all the programming, all the fear. Good. You can't wash away love because it's really the only thing. It just gets, it's just, Anger and hate are louder, but love is still there. It's just underneath. So you can't wash away love. It's not an emotion, actually. Good. It's a vibration. Good. Wash away all the lower vibrations. Okay. Relax your eyes, jaw, and shoulders. Let it be easy. Flood the whole world with light. Every being. Relax. Good. For whatever reason, we are here now in our collective evolution. All we have to know is where we want to be. We want a peaceful, loving, high vibrational planet. So we have to be peace, be love, raise our own individual vibration and we raise others. We make higher vibrations available to other people through our own high vibration. So see the world the way you want it. See the world filled with light. See the world as a high vibrational planet. See the planet as a thousand level vibrational being. Good, relax your belly. Don't let this be difficult. It's not difficult. Your ego will tell you it's difficult. It is not. We don't need every human being on board. We only need 51% with the intention and then we move towards that and then we get momentum and then it becomes easy. Good. We don't need everyone to do this. We just need some to do it. And then others will see that it can be done and then they will do it. And others will see that it can be done and they will do it. It starts with you now right now I set the intention to live a high vibrational existence good relax your whole body 
from a high vibrational existence, I allow my true self to show through from the inside out. Self-esteem becomes irrelevant. God. And whatever you need and desire gets attracted to you easily. Just by focusing on your own high vibration, your desires will manifest quickly. All this or better. There is no trying. Your whole mind focused on your own highest possible vibration is all you need to do. Everything else comes from there. See the planet you want. 1,000 level vibrational earth. Good. From the inside to the outer edges of the atmosphere. 1,000 level vibratory earth. Good. Just see what you want. Good. And feel what it feels like to be in that vibration where the whole planet has a thousand level vibration. And then you follow the guidance that comes from your intention that you set there will be guidance. Follow the guidance. Good. Feel what it feels like to be in the energy, in the atmosphere, and walking on a 1,000 level vibratory planet. Good. Good. Your ego will show you who's fighting. Your ego may show you things. That doesn't matter. I am not this. I'm not available for that. Good. Good, relax your belly. The ego says we have to try, we have to do something. We have to do something. That's not true. That's the ego trying to bring about a 1,000 level vibratory planet. That's not how it works. The ego is wrong. It's only as old as your meat suit is. Your ego is only as old as your physical body. Your spirit knows. Good, relax your belly. See the planet that you want. See the other people who have the same desire holding in their mind all over the earth, holding the vision of a 1,000 level vibratory planet. Good. Connect your mind with their minds. It's like a big net of white light that surrounds the earth. We don't need everybody. We only need a few. We only need some. Good. I desire a 1,000 level vibrational planet Earth now. Good, relax your belly. Other minds are part of the net with the exact same desire, 1,000 level vibratory planet Earth now. Good, good. Everybody who doesn't understand this, doesn't know how to do this, Forgive them, Lord. They know not what they do. They just don't know. They're in the matrix. They don't think they can do this. They don't think this is real. That's fine. We bless them. We forgive them. We don't have to name their negativity. We don't have to call them names. We, we don't have to be available for any kind of engagement with people who are defending the matrix, who are trapped in the old paradigm, defending the old paradigm. They just don't know. Forgive them, Lord, they know not what they do. We bless them, we forgive them. We respect their free will choice to stay in and defend the old paradigm. It's just fear. It's just fear. And we love them. 
but we don't look at them too long because it will lower our vibration. Compassion is love plus understanding. Good, we just leave them where they are. They're fine. That's their choice. Now, connect with the other like-minded, high vibrational humans, setting the intention to create a high vibrational planet Earth now. Good. They're doing it different ways, but good. Connect your mind with their mind. Create a net of light around the Earth. Very good. Good. Relax your belly. Just see it. The law of attraction is required to respond to our thoughts. When we have a higher vibration, we can manifest much faster. Good, relax your shoulders. Got five more minutes. Relax your shoulders, relax your eyes. Let this be easy. There are other people that want the highest vibrational 1,000 level planet Earth. Just connect your mind with their minds. Good, it's a white net. And it may be a loose net, but as more people rise, raise their vibration and understand, the net gets stronger. Good, the net gets filled in. As more people understand the power of their own mind, Good, relax your eyes, John shoulders. As more people learn about the law of attraction, the net gets wider and wider, more and more strings, more and more minds. Understanding, I create my reality. I desire 1,000 level vibrational planet Earth now. Good, it's so it is, good. Good. Feel what it feels like to live on a 1,000 level vibrational planet Earth. Just feel, feel a 1,000 level vibration. It's light. You're expanded. Good. Maybe you feel taller than all the people with the lower vibrations. That's great. Good. Connect with all the other tall people. And then more and more people see that it's possible. More and more people join. It's exponential. 10,000 minds in the whole planet can do amazing things. It's the Maharishi effect. Good. Relax your eyes, draw on shoulders. See this whenever you want. Don't make work out of it because you need to keep your own vibration high. So enjoy your life. And when you want, when it becomes a joyful thing to do, just take three to eight minutes and just give yourself the feeling of what it would feel like to live on a 1,000 level vibrational planet Earth and connect with 10,000 or more other minds that have the same desire. The law of attraction has to respond. It doesn't have a choice. It has to respond to our minds. We're calling for this now. Good. Good. It has to give us what we ask for. The people Call, talking about racism and hatred. It brings them more. It has to respond. That's what they're talking about. That's what the law of attraction gives them because as far as the law of attraction is concerned, that's what they're asking for. It does not judge good or bad or you didn't mean that. I know you didn't mean that. When you say hate has no home here, you really meant love lives here, so I'm going to give you love. No, the law of attraction says hates the subject of your sentence that must be what you want more of. Focus on 1,000 level vibration. Focus on peace. Focus on the earth you want. 1,000 level vibrational earth. Ignore the people that don't understand. 
Forgive them, Lord. They know not what they do. I bless them. Forgive them. I respect their free will choice to hold on to the old paradigm to fight. I respect that free will choice to fight. And I love them from here. Good. But I connect with the other higher vibrational minds to create the planet that I desire. 1,000 level vibrational planet now. And so it is. There's nothing to do. You just be. It feels better anyway. I love you guys. That is how I define success. My own highest potential vibration is success to me. I don't care about money. I don't care about so many things. Markers of success have really, you've been manipulated, you've been played to create a whole different set of markers for success. You've just been manipulated. Just break the programming of your own mind, define success for yourself. My definition of success is my highest vibrational potential existence. That's all. I don't need to know anything else. I know everything good comes from there. Everything that I really want comes from my highest potential vibrational existence, period. I don't need to know anything else. I don't need to define success any deeper than that. That's all it is. Good. Relax your belly. Fall in love with yourself. Fall in love with your life. And everything comes from there. So have a great week and I love you. And I'm sorry about the Facebook misconnection. Oh. Bye YouTube, love you.